guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to start a new episode. We're going to start with these two sentences. It's about parenting and education. So let's jump right to it. The first sentence here you can see is, "Yang bu jiao, fu zhi guo." And the second sentence is, "Jiao bu yan, shi zhi duo." So yang bu jiao means if a parent gives birth to a child, but they do not um, educate and cultivate the child, then it's the parent parent's mistake. But if the second sentence is, if a teacher is lazy and not trying to be strict to the students, then that means the teacher is not being responsible and being lazy. So, yang bu jiao, fu zhi guo, jiao bu yan, shi zhi duo. These two sentences are teaching us that as a parent, you need to um, raise the kids up well. And as a teacher, you need to be strict and to put the discipline on the teaching while you're teaching the kids. Do not be lazy and run away from the um, responsibility, right? So that's the two sentences from San Zi Jing, which is the article that we have been learning about. And now we're going to go to the story related to this philosophy that we're learning today. So the title of this story today is called Si Ma Guang Gai Guo. Si Ma Guang is a person and the family name of Si Ma Guang is Si Ma. The given name is Guang. Gai means to correct. Guo means mistake. So this story is about Guang Si Ma correcting his mistakes. We're going to read sentence by sentence, and then um, I'm going to read from the beginning to the end for you. Si Ma Guang, When Si Ma Guang was five to about five or six years old, he asked his older sister to help him to peel off the walnut. 姐姐不会弄,就走开了。So the sister didn't know how to do it, so she walked away. 这时,一个仆人走过来,帮他把核桃放进开水里烫了烫,然后用小刀一刮,核桃皮就掉了。at that moment, 这时, at this moment, 一个仆人 means a helper. At that time, they have helpers at home. 走过来 means came over, walked over, and helped him 把核桃放进开水里烫了烫 means to help him and put the walnut into boiled water to boil it a little bit. 然后用小刀一刮, means then he used he or she used this um, little knife and scraped it. 核桃皮就掉了. So now the skin of the walnut peeled off easily. So our next sentence is 司马光拿着剥掉皮的核桃,正巧被走过来的姐姐看到。so Sima Guang, he was having this walnut peeled off at his hand. And just at that moment, the sister came over, the older sister that who didn't know what to do about peeling off the walnut, right? She saw. So what did the sister say? 姐姐问司马光,你是怎么包掉核桃皮的? So sister asked Sima Guang, how did you peel off the skin of the walnut? Sima Guan de So Sima Guan was so proud and he said, Well, I just used my hand and peeled it off. So now let's move to the second paragraph. 
坐在书房读书的父亲，将屋外发生的事情看得一清二楚。他问司马光：“这核桃皮真是你剥掉的吗？”坐在书房读书的父亲 means the father was sitting in the study room reading. 将屋外发生的事情。看得一清二楚 means he saw what happened exactly in the house. He saw everything happened. 一清二楚 is the four-character idiom. It means very clearly. So he asked Sima Guang, "This apple pie is really you that peeled off? Did you really peel off the walnut skin by yourself?" Let's continue. 司马光听后，脸红了。After Sima Guang heard what the father said, his face got red. The last sentence, 父亲要求他把真实情况讲给姐姐听。司马光这才讲了仆人帮忙的经过。So the father requested him, asked him to tell what really happened to the sister. So the sis, Sima Guang had to tell the sister what exactly helped. He got help from the helper, right? So that is the entire story. The father saw and witnessed everything. So when Sima Guang was trying to lie to the sister and show off, then and said that I did it by myself, right? As a matter of fact, he didn't do it by himself. He was only five or six years old. So this story is generally talking about. This little boy here, he made a mistake by trying to lie and to show off his pride about how he peeled off the walnut, which he didn't do. And the sister didn't know how to do at the beginning, right? So he, that's why he wanted to show to show off more. At the very end, he had to admit that he didn't do it. He got help from the helper. So the father witnessed everything and asked him. So he was humble enough, and he admitted it. Eventually, right? So now let's read one more time from the beginning. Sima Guang 改过。司马光五六岁时，让姐姐帮他把核桃皮剥掉。姐姐不会弄，就走开了。这时，一个仆人走过来，帮他把核桃放进开水里。烫了烫，然后用小刀一刮，核桃皮就掉了。司马光拿着剥掉皮的核桃，正巧被走回来的姐姐看到。姐姐问司马光：“你是怎么剥掉核桃皮的？”司马光得意地说：“是我自己用手弄掉的。”坐在书房读书的父亲将屋外发生的事情看得一清二楚。他问司马光：“这核桃皮真是你剥掉的吗？”司马光听后脸红了。父亲要求他把真实情况讲给姐姐听。司马光这才讲了仆人帮忙的经过。So this story is talking about how Sima Guang's father educated him and tried to correct him when he was trying to lie in front of his sister's face. Right? This is exactly what we learned from the three-character classic sentence today. It's about、um, a, a parent gave birth to a child. If the parent is not willing to cultivate and educate the child, then it's the parent's mistake. And if a teacher Is going to teach students, but not being strict. Then the teacher is being lazy and not taking the responsibility. So I hope you guys like today's story, and definitely leave me comments and let me know how you think about it.、Um, guys, this story happened about hundreds, even thousands of years ago. So imagine at that time we have all this wisdom and philosophy from our ancestors teaching us how we should have the right attitude. About parenting and educating as an educator, right? So,、um, I hope to see you guys next time, and definitely come back. I will update a story every week, 
every story is independent. However, the sentences are connected for the three character classic article. I look forward to you next time. Do not forget to subscribe, guys. See you.